All right, guys, so in this video that no one asked for, I'm going to give you all a walkthrough of my home office. And if you haven't noticed yet, it is very IKEA centric. I used to go into the office working for a digital marketing agency where I had my own video editing setup where I get to choose, right, what type of computer, what type my setup looks like. But now with these times is that you essentially need to either have your A, a remote, really, you know, grab and go type of setup, whether you wanna work in a coffee shop, or if you're like me, you work from home, you're a freelancer, and you have to essentially put together your own setup. So where do you even begin, right? So I'm gonna walk you through this. First is, you don't know who I am yet, my name is Peter from A Broke Visionary Collective, where I help you become a better content creator. So first, we're going to go off with the chair. It's, I get comments on it all the time, right? And if you haven't seen my other videos, go check it out. But I am still using my beloved IKEA Marcus, retails for $200, and it is still living up to its name, having used it for almost two years now. It is what I spend more time on my bed almost in this chair making content, I'd say 80% of the time, right? So if you're looking for a budget chair and you don't want to invest in like a Herman Miller, this is something that I would recommend. Next is we're going to go onto my desk. What the actual desk is, it is an L shape, but the desk itself is also from Ikea. It is called the Picant. And if you notice yet, it is not the normal Picant. It is the L shaped right having a bias to the right so i have more of a surface area so i can put all of my knickknacks and patty wax and i also you know this is pretty much a no-name brand a little desk so i can have it extended so all of my right side is my workspace where i like to write where i like to you know come up with ideas and to the very right of that is the ikea alex drawer which is notorious to known with this setup but i initially had it where it was pretty much placed right underneath the piquant but that didn't allow me to have any leg space so i moved it off to the side and what the alex drawer does is it stores all my receipts you know my random things like my vitamins and just having a desk where you have drawers where you can put stuff in right so what I like about the Bacant, it, it is completely adjustable. I can raise it up, raise it down with uh, pretty much uh, Alex. You need one of these, right? The only downside is that is that once you have it set, it is pretty big. So this table, overall the dimensions, I'll have it up on the screen, but it takes a big portion of the room. But I did want to have a large enough desk space so I can A, have a second monitor, which I'll talk about, as well as have my laptop acting as my main video editing station. But before we get into that, I'm gonna actually talk about as well as the hardware, right? So what am I using? I am using, let's talk about Logitech setup. So I am using the Logitech Anywhere mouse right version 3 i initially had the other logitech mouse but it had it was way too big for my hands this is much more comfortable portable and more importantly it is usb chargeable right usb c and the cool thing about this mouse is that because it uses the unifying receiver as you can see here i can connect it to up to three different devices. And I use this for my work laptop as well as my own editing station. And to pair that off with my keyboard is I decided to pick up the Logitech right here. The soft keys, the MX keys right here. It is one of the, I guess the downsides of it is like it isn't as clicky compared to your normal mechanical keyboard but it does the job pretty heavy. So if you're looking for more of a lightweight portable keyboard, this is probably not the one to go. This is more for your home office station. So next we're gonna talk about is I have my keyboard, but read a bunch of reviews and they're like, hey, you should pick up at this guy, right? And I'm like, okay, I might as well, since you know people have influence on me. And this is what you call a palm or wrist rest, right? So as you're typing, it acts as a little comforter for your wrist. But honestly, with or without it, I actually think that this should be included with that package. 
the mouse and the keyboard package kind of totals around for you're looking close to 250 300 dollars so you know why spend an extra 20 dollars if you don't have to and just include that into the package but yeah that is my mouse and keyboard setup i also have this backlit trackpad which also doubles as my mouse and keyboard pad has RGB lighting, right? You can find that on Amazon and everything I already mentioned and will mention will be in the link below. Next is we're gonna go into sound. So when we're talking about audio, I picked up these. I had these for a long time. Sounds great, it has its own little bass box on the bottom. These are Alltech Lansing audio speakers, sounds great as well as you know what i also use for our microphone is my good old trusted blue yeti the black edition which i use for all my voiceovers as well as all my meeting calls and also doubles as my headphone stand the headphones i'm using are the audio technica these are the ath m 50x which are um, Bluetooth compatible, AKA wireless. And we're gonna go into the actual hardware now. So if you don't know yet, you, all these videos that are items that I'm talking about, I also have individual product videos on these. So here I have is my XPS 15. If y'all are wondering what do I edit most of my content on, I use this primarily for Adobe Creative Cloud from Premiere to After Effects as well as Photoshop. It features an i7 97th 50H generation, 2.6 gigahertz, 32 gigs of RAM, which is crucial if you want to multitask as well as, you know, have multiple softwares running. So I'm still using, like I made in the video, I'm still using my Dell P2419H monitor as my technically second, which I have the HDMI cord plugged in to the second monitor, but I'm using my second monitor as the primary and my laptop is actually the reference monitor and that, that pretty much sums up all of my essentials when it comes to my actual video editing office setup you know from the actual you know the, the desk the chair to the equipment that you essentially need as well as my audio i also have a drawer right behind me where I have my little shelf here, which has all of my camera gear, right? Let me know in the comments below if y'all actually want me to go through, you know, this entire shelf here. But it usually has all of my things, such as my lenses, my microphones, my batteries, all my knickknacks. Those are essentially all of my essentials when it comes to what you actually need from a work from home video editing station setup or content creation setup. All you need is essentially, you know, a chair to sit on, a desk, you have your laptop or your PC tower connected to your second monitors, as well as, you know, your accessories like your keyboard, your mouse, your mouse pads, as well as your audio. So this includes things like your speakers, as well as your microphone for you using for all your meetings and just making sure you have enough desk space so you have room to, you know, if you're old school like me and you like to draw and note out your content ideas. But that was a breakdown of my minimal approach when using primarily biased, I'm not sponsored by them, is my IKEA setup, right? From the Marcus to the Bacant to the Alex to the little desktop stand that I have, laptop stand. And that's it. And if you want more in-depth reviews of my thoughts on this, link is in the description below or check out my playlist so you guys can actually see, you know, what I actually have in terms of my thoughts on it. So if you watched this far, my name is Peter. You're watching Broke Journey Collective. Link subscription, everything I mentioned, everything I talk about, and that is my work from home setup since this whole ordeal has happened in the world is changed and of course the reason why i decided to pick my laptop setup instead of a pc tower is that you want to be remote right for me that is i want to be able to pick up my laptop and work at a coffee shop i want to be able to pick up my laptop and go halfway across the world and still make content and be location independent and i pick things that most are suited towards my needs but your needs might be different, right? You might want a smaller desk. You might want, you know, a more budget-friendly chair. 
you might want a tower instead because you actually plan to live in your place where you're at for X amount of years so you can pick up and go. But that is, that is what it is. That's my little setup. Post on the back, shout outs to Tupac, Kid Cudi, J. Cole. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it. Because uh, I told you so, right? Subscribe the channel, be a part of the family. And you're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing. But you can always create something. Cheers, guys.